Welcome everyone to the L7C channel, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels. We're already in the game against a person in Infinite. If you're looking at our hand, it's it's okay. They get to go first. They're playing Cosmos. So we're like, mm, what can we do? We're not familiar with Cosmos. We know of them. If you guys have been watching the channels, one of the first videos ever on the channel with no thumbnail no sound nothing was against cosmos and that guy was very very salty that he made this big board and i just took it out on my first turn if you saw the comments he was calling us some pretty bad names so hopefully this guy is not a salty cosmo player as well or we're gonna realize that cosmo players just get salty at the l7c so, yeah, he's doing his Cosmo things. And that's the thing about Yu-Gi-Oh, too. If you don't know what a deck does, just because you don't see it often in your location, where you play locals at, because where you play lo locals at, you typically know what everyone's running. So you can just see the cards and know what they're about to do. But when you're playing someone outside your locals or you're going out and playing these rogue decks, you're just like, man, what does your stuff do? So it's my turn now. I have a pretty good hand, actually. I have the Mirror Force, Black Metal Dragon, Fusion Deployment, Red Eyes Insight, and the Destruction Sword Fusion. I can do a lot of different things. We activate Red Eyes Insight, send Red Eyes Darkness Metal to Grave. We're seeing what he's going to do. And we're waiting, waiting, seeing what he's going to do. And we're like, hmm, what's happening? What's happening? Okay. So then we always get the red eye spirit. We always get that. So we're like, okay, what else can we do? Then we summon the black metal dragon. And we're like, shoot. We didn't want to summon the black metal dragon. Reason being is because when you do black metal dragon, you go into Link Karibo. Which you would think typically is fine. In this situation, it's bad because now we can't play fusion deployment. Because fusion deployment can only be played when you play it. You can only special summon fusion monsters from the extra deck. And we did a link monster. So that kind of messed it up. But we still have it for later in the game. So we just set. We set. And then we set again. So we have three sets. Pass. So we're seeing what he is going to do next. And we're waiting. I'm like, what are we waiting on? Let's go. He does. He pays his 500 to activate his effect. Banishes him. To get a bigger guy. He went from like zero attack to 2,800 attack, 1,400 defense, level 7. So that is a uh, big change of pace. For my just me and my Link Karibo out here. So yeah. And then this stuff I just click on a card. Because I'm like I don't know what happens. Let, let the two go to the grave. Let them get banished. Let's continue with your turn man. Let's keep it going. So come on. Come on. That's the thing man. Just waiting stinks when you're just waiting for them. And then okay. We go opponent's turn. He finally gets to go into his stuff. He's asking me if I want to activate anything. I was like, mm. I was like, do I want to activate Red Eye Spirit now or do I want to wait? I'm like, eh. he gets a thousand points. So the two times he spent 500, he just gets that back. So he really didn't lose anything there. And we're still just waiting to see what he's doing. We're like, come on, come on, come on, man. This is what, and then we're like, finally. And those are the things too, when you're making your opponent wait so long, I understand having a deck with a whole bunch of options, but there's a reason they put time now in Yu-Gi-Oh because some people just take forever. Acting as we want to activate our Red-Eyed Spear, we're just like, nope. And we're like, okay, well, he's activating all this stuff. And me, I really don't know what most of this stuff does. So I'm just like, go ahead, go ahead, ma'am or sir. Just keep doing 
what you're doing. And then he keeps going. And we're like, come on, come on. Let's see something. Let's see something. What are we doing? What are we doing? He plays the trap. And the trap banishes opponent's uh, card from the graveyard. Controls or in the graveyard. And I'm like, uh, he's going to get... He's going to pick Red Eyes Darkness. But I was like, even if I... But he banished the trap. Which, now with the trap, I can't special summon Red Eyes Darkness right now. So that stinks. So I'm like, okay. So far, still so good. And then he's still summoning all of his Cosmo monsters. Because he has Cosmo Town on the field. Getting the benefits of that. And he's also getting the benefits of me not having a hand trap or anything like that to stop him. Again, it's just me, Mirror Force, Link, Karibo. That's all we got right now. And we're hoping we can get another turn because this guy's turn has been forever. So then he activates Terraforming again, gets his car, gets Cosmo Town. We're still waiting to see what's happening here. We're like, come on. And then he plays this card. I'm like, okay, okay. Keep going, man. I'm not stopping anything. I don't even know what most of your stuff does. I just know your Cosmos. I know a little bit about your archetype. I'm just hoping for another turn. That is all I am hoping for. Come on. Just here waiting. And then again, guys, you know, as always, when people start waiting, I start promoting. Make sure you check out the other videos on the L7C YouTube. There's a lot of crazy duels on there. 9K Attack Galaxy Eyes. Uh, Dark Magician and a Blue Eyes deck together that I use consistently uh, working together. And then I turn and I see Anaconda. And I'm like, we did all of this just for the basic Anaconda. So he does Red Eyes Fusion. We already know what's happening. Dragoon's here. Dragoon does its pop effect, I believe, on my Link Karibo. So he pops it. I lose 300. I have a Mirror Force, but Mirror Force isn't good against Dragoon because it can't be destroyed by card effects. And I have the Destruction, Swordsman, Fusion. So I'm like, no, I'm going to take the hit. And take the hit from that. And then he's going to end turn, I believe. So now it's my turn. And watch how I get rid of this Dragoon. It is spicy. As we all know, Dragoon can only negate once per turn. He discards a card, but the negate's not the thing. He negates and he gains extra 1,000. I'm looking around, checking his graveyard. He has the one red eyes. And like I said in previous videos, if you can summon a Buster Blader against Dragoon without Dragoon gating attack, you're going to kill it because he pumps up your Buster Blader because he had to dump a red eyes. So your Buster Blader will be at 31. It'll be at uh, 3,000. Now watch this. I summon the Whelp. I activate the effect of Whelp. I know he's going to negate it. So he has to discard the card. And look how 200 IQ with a Link Karibo. I actually tribute the Whelp for the Link Karibo in my grave. So that he doesn't destroy the Whelp. He doesn't get the 1,000 extra attack. So now he's still at 3,000. I still have fusion deployment. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play Fusion Deployment, pick the Destruction Source Fusion, get a Buster Blader out, and my Buster Blader is stronger than his Dragoon. And I'm like, hmm, sucks to be you, man. I, t I try to tell you on all our videos, don't be afraid of Dragoon.